one other type of attack that you can use is a fake authentication attack. Now, a fake authentication attack is where you can try to get yourself associated with the access point. And if you can get yourself associated with the access point, you may have a better shot of performing some of the replay attacks that we've been talking about and will continue to talk about. So we're going to use air replay again. We're going to say minus one, which is going to be a fake authentication attack. And we're just going to say zero, that's fine. Minus E is the ESSID, which is going to be infinite Wi-Fi. And then I've got my access point and I need my host ID here. So I'm going to get that off of if config. So I need the hardware address. It's going to be 0026F2B6B622 and 20. We're going to specify WLAN zero as our interface. Even though it looks like we got a success here, let me try it again with the correct MAC address. So we're going to do that and I'm gonna change this out for my correct MAC address. I was off by a byte in reading all of that output. So paste that in. So I wanna replace the H, not the A here. And let me paste that in instead. And now we have a successful association. So once we've got this successful association, we may be able to do some other types of attacks that may require association before we can do much of anything else with them. Now you can also do this fake authentication attack if you happen to have an XOR file that you may have acquired using AeroDump. If you'd been running AeroDump for a while, you may have generated a file that could be handed in that would allow you to do some shared key authentication as well. So you can do air replay with a fake authentication and a shared key once you've acquired enough data using AeroDump. So you could hand in the XOR file that would be related to the shared key that would be in use on this wireless network.